The sand, mud and gravel that the winter floods deposit provides a wonderful seed bed for all sorts of plants and in particular it's provided a home for an awful lot of rather undesirable alien non-native species and here's one, the Himalayan balsam. It was introduced as a garden plant in the 1800s and escaped and has now colonised miles and miles of riverbank, completely altering their character. It hasn't yet exterminated a native British species, but it certainly reduced the abundance of many of them. When you're using rivers and lakes and canals, it's vitally important that you don't accidentally spread these alien species about. Because not only are the plants on the, on the, in the water and on the riverbank, a problem or a potential problem but also out in the water bodies we've now managed to introduce all sorts of undesirables so please 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 whenever you leave a river or a lake make sure that you're not carrying with you any spores or seeds or eggs wash your boots wash your equipment remove all visible traces of any plant matter or mud or rock and then when you get home give everything a good washing in tap water and dry everything thoroughly that way we won't transfer spores and seeds onto the next lake or river that you visit. This is no idle threat now. There are, there are water bodies in England and even in parts of Wales now becoming choked with alien plants which prevent fishing, they even prevent canoeing. So it's up to all of us to look after our environment and follow this simple advice. Please, please, please remember to check, to wash and to dry your equipment when you go from one river or lake to another.